Gang gang, academates. Salute to you, man. What it is, what it do. Uh how the world treating y'all, man. How we doing out there? I'm groovy. I am groovy. So yo. I, I know you already seen the title. You already know who we rocking with. Proving Demons. Interesting title though. It says do not sell your soul. Don't you do that. Said they summoned a demon and they demanded answers. Let's see how this go, y'all. Because I don't really think you should be demanding anything respectfully. Uh, you should be asking. You know what I mean? But uh, we're going to see what kind of questions they demand and answers for. You know what I'm talking about? And why the title says, Do Not Sell Your Soul. Drew? Listen, I ain't even going to make an assumption. Let's just get to it, y'all. You know what I'm saying? So, without further ado, I hope you got what you need because I do. I'm going to get it in the air, too. So, uh, y'all ready? Let's get a bus. Oh, it's cold. Oh, shit. What the f- You know, I'm not usually a completely superstitious type, surprisingly. But something happened to me today. Today? Yeah, today, while you're out. Okay, what? What the hell? I went out for a cigarette. Yeah. I wake up usually with a bit of anxiety first thing in the morning. Not feeling on top, it's a normal thing for me. And I saw this in the middle of the garden. What is it, John? Fluff. Oh, white feather. Oh, okay. It's a white feather. You know what they say about white feathers. Um, it could be wrong, but it's like somebody leaving it for you, like a loved one who's passed away. Yeah, it's like saying somebody from up above is watching over you and taking care of you. Right? Okay. So, it stood out so well in the green of mm. our yard. Yeah. And I decided, you know what, maybe that was a sign something's looking over me. Okay. Which brings me, what looks over you? Do you know? Angels. Typically angels. And I know we typically do demon summonings. Yeah. So, before we go right back into angel summonings, I'm doing an in-between. Okay. There is an entity known as Abaddon. Okay. Right. Now, Abaddon is known as the angel of the abyss, basically who greets you when, um, well, when you go to hell, when you die. Okay. It's said that Abaddon tortures you for five months if you don't have the sign of God on your forehead. Okay. <laughs> but he is the angel that presides over the dead. That's an angel. Why would an angel do that? Well, it's interesting because he originally comes from Greek mythology and uh, old Hebrew, and basically. Back then, they didn't really have a Satan, per se, as they do in Christian lore. That's why some believe Abaddon to be Satan, but others okay. argue that he's not. His name literally does translate to destruction, though. And his purpose was to punish those without the sign of God. So, I think we should try and summon okay. him. But this is a very complex, which we'll compare to the others. Right. So, we're going to actually require black robes. Yeah, I just wondered why it was... Yeah, <laughs> I got the black robe. Okay. Um, I got everything we need, and it is a very particular summoning, or else I have to speak in Latin for this one. Do you know uh, Latin? Well, no, I, know, I have what I'm supposed to say, to be fair. Okay. Now, interestingly enough, you know what they Semper say he looks like? Um, let's Semper see. So, it is said that Abaddon is described as destroyer, the angel of the abyss, and as the king of plague and locusts, resembling horses. He is resembling of horses with crowned human faces, woman's hair, lion's teeth, wings, iron breastplates, and a tail of a scorpion stinger. Well, no. Sounds pretty horrific for an angel, doesn't it? Jeez, yeah. But then again, once you start looking into, um, once you start looking into what angels actually look like, uh, like seraphim and things like that, they don't look like. Yeah. They don't all look they like do humans not, with big yeah. fluffy wings. They're not all humanoids. Like Definitely so not. So, I have a location we're going to go to tonight. 
One we have once been to before, but we didn't do anything paranormal there. We didn't okay. explore it, but we Local have visited. No? Uh, no, not really. Okay. Right. But this place has no history. In fact, I highly doubt it's haunted in any way. So that will only further prove my point that if we do get communication you with something the there, that it's jacked. not just the spirits that are messing with us. Yeah, it's like you, you've done that. Yeah. Us. But, I mean, who better to contact about what happens after you die than the supposed angel who presides over the dead? Mm. You know, so Call I think tonight will be quite an interesting step. Uh, yeah, in yeah we game. haven't done any angel stuff now for like, what, six months? Maybe even longer, I think. Oh, uh, it's probably been longer than that, to be yeah. fair. I haven't seen any Thankfully, videos of some of the angels. Too hard to draw the sigil. Yeah, you need oh, yeah, sigils. There, I mean, compared to my one. last sigils, yeah. th that this will be piss easy to do. Okay. Yeah, some of them. But different. I kind of want to just go for it. <laughs> do it. Uh, certain things that are requirements. Some of them, like for whoa. summoning this angel, are things that I've been working on over the last week. So harvesting darkness. Okay, you truly have to find the darkness within yourself and keep it within yourself. And I think anyone who's been following my Instagram surely knows so I've that been doing such a, a lot. Thing. <laughs> that explains a lot. Of yes, you have to be one with your inner darkness for this one. Right. Also, meditation, you know, thinking, getting to know yourself truly deep inside and out. Definitely well know that so. Fasting, know that so. Very important. Um, things that I, I mean, listen to him. Like may I not look like I've lost a lot of weight. Look, 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 look. This is why I'm rocking with him, y'all. You know what I'm saying? This is one of the main reasons why I'm rocking with him. Because when I say you do your due diligence, just, just listening to him, he's done something. It's a lot of y'all out there just jump into this stuff and don't know what the hell you doing. And you ruin your life like that. So definitely do your due diligence, man. And um, that main thing that he said, let's, yes, get to know your inner darkness. Get to know that's called shadow work. Get to know your inner darkness. It's called shadow work. There's an actual term for it. Yes, it's called shadow work. You know what I mean? And know thyself. The one, the one of the one of the main movies that said that was the Matrix. Everybody knows what the Matrix is. So that in in that movie it said in Latin, "Know thyself." Ego sum coesum. Know thyself. Ego sum coesum. I just said I am that I am though. So, you know what I mean. Do some due diligence like this man right here before you go jumping into some stuff that you don't, you know what I'm saying, fully comprehend. It get, get some type of understanding and then it becomes an understanding and then eventually you got an overstanding. And now, you know what I'm saying, you know exactly what the hell you're doing. And you can show others what to do or what not to do. You know what I'm talking about? So, yes, that's why I rock with the cat right here. You know what I'm talking about? But, you know, you got to do what you got to do for these. So, join you on the next one <laughs> Yeah, all right. Then. <laughs> um, can you explain the the? Now he might be on some other if sometimes, but like listen, it's ultimately you know what I'm saying. It's about doing this the the research, and see you know what I'm saying. Hey, I'm a bit confused. The robe, it's a requirement. Sorry, robe, you have to have a ritual robe, amongst other things, uh, or they will not be interested in meeting you. But well, so you, you have to wear it. Yeah, right? I you have to wear it while yeah. performing it. Some things okay. you got to get fully in. You got to get fully uh, into no, it. No, not really. By into the way, character. what is that on your sh hoodie? Are, huh? you, are you wearing bootleg Sam and Colby merch? Yeah, well, I bought it off eBay. <laughs> I'm glad you just missed that. I bought it off eBay like, uh, I don't know, six months ago. And I didn't realize it wasn't the official merch. But it fits. It's comfy. I like Sam and Colby. Let are. me know down below if you guys like Sam and Colby. I've <laughs> never met them, know, but they're friends with a few of my they're friends. So cool. they're, they're, they're the is. reason I started my channel. Absolutely hands down. If it weren't for them, after my recovery of my operation, I would have never started YouTube. So, hmm. Sam and Colby, I love you guys. All right. <laughs> for KCAE's uh, benefit, if anyone ever wants to see us do a demon ritual with Sam and Colby, go spam their channel. So, yeah. go hook up with Proven Demons. That'd be amazing. Right, list it off. Okay. Speaking of angels and demons, you want to know something interesting? Yeah. You remember our last video where I brought up the fact that, you know, okay, do you believe in aliens? Uh, what if the government told you aliens were well, The Area 51 stuff. The Area 51 yeah. story, yeah. Right, so it's in the news again today. Uh, they've released more, just like they did in the first lockdown. They released <laughs> more um, declassified UFO footage, right? Oh, okay. Now, typical Christians and Catholics are claiming that these are either angels or demons. A lot of them are claiming they're angels, a lot of them are claiming they're demons. Now, have you ever heard the theory about 
aliens being, <coughs> or sorry, UFOs being actual demons or angels coming to show us that the end times are coming. Not that it has been. Right, well, it is quite a common uh, belief, especially considering that, you know, modern Christianity does state that aliens cannot exist for we are essentially the only beings on, you know, in the universe that God created us and solely us on our planet. And the rest of the universe basically That's revolves crazy around us, if that. not revolving around God himself. Yeah. Now that there is actual, you know, government uh, declassified photos of UFOs, a lot of people are claiming that they are angels or demons, really. A lot of them are claiming UFOs because are demons. Because their religion okay. is... Right. Now, religion is to think? bind. They're bound, they're, be they're bound to that religion. Okay. So their minds can cannot receive my, anything outside of it. So it's either going to be an angel or a demon because they can't come outside. General, I don't believe that to be like a correlation between the two. Okay, now can I ask, what are your thoughts on the government declassifying these UFO images all of a sudden? Um, and then making it big oh, mainstream media. I don't like to be controversial. Um, okay, uh, I think Maybe they do they it like to, it. to feed us with hope because I've always said the only two things in life that keep a person alive is happiness or hope. If you don't have happiness, what's the point of living? If you don't have hope, what's the point of living? So those two things I really believe do like kind of continue to push a person to continue their journey. Um, and I think stuff like this just feeds people hope that. All right. You know, so you, you think something. you think they you could know. be lying? Now, uh, yeah. you well, know I, what? I don't want to be controversial, but no, no, yeah, no, it's I don't, fine, it's I don't fine. believe What I was going to say is what I find interesting is that a lot of the people who already have a distrust of the government mm -hmm. are claiming that this is their next fear campaign, mm -hmm. that perhaps maybe they're releasing this so that one day we could have UFO lockdowns or some shit like that. Well, that, this is what I mean. Like, I, I don't want to say, I don't want to be like incorrect and like kind of say stuff to upset people, but um, I just don't trust stuff like this. Like, for example, um, I won't go into it, but the moon landing. That's all I'm going to say, okay? You you know what I mean by I that. Had a, I had a big rant on that on my yeah, live stream recently, like, actually. We all know that wasn't true, okay? I'm an well, alien film study student, and even I can see the lighting, and that, see, even the imprint of the moon. You don't want to be controversial, but 100%, that would be a controversial topic, because a lot of people do believe yeah, in this. Yeah, see, this is why I don't hear my opinion. Yes, but the, the only know. problem is NASA <laughs> has confirmed that because of the Van Allen belt, so we can't actually leave. It's impossible. That's what they said, so... I, so I just have different opinions, so I think this whole releasing of UFOs, it's really nice to believe in and it's kind of cool, but I've told you, unless I see it with my own eyes, um, I, I won't believe it, I just won't, I've always been that way unfortunately. Well, I definitely welcome anyone who's watching to leave down below what they believe the reason that they are oh mass oh no. releasing uh, UFO, declassified UFO stuff. Well, I'm really sorry. I, well, before we obviously like end it there, I want to just say I'm really sorry. I'm not a controversial person. I never want to upset someone. I have a heart of gold. Genuinely, I don't uh, want to upset anyone. You're not upsetting anyone, anybody. So this is. Please listen. don't think I'm being rude. I just, I Consider just don't believe. They are releasing stuff now because they can no longer hide the fact that the stuff is real. When they're fighting a the war, there's a war going on. And the other side is here that's getting on their ace. So, therefore, they can't, they can't hide it anymore because we're going to see this stuff regardless of what they say. See what I'm saying? So, they're just trying to mix the pot up. That's all that's going on right now. They're just trying to be the first to do it because they know, they've been, they, know they screwed up and they never told us anyway. And now the things that they can't stop us from seeing... Or can't stop from being out of, you know what I'm saying, in view. They, here, I'm gonna get the pictures out there. Yeah, yeah, let's release this. You know what I'm saying? So, 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 so we won't look too bad. Like, man, no, y'all look horrible. There's nothing that you can do to recover from the things that you've hidden from us for so long. There's nothing you can do to recover from that. And it's too late. But I digress. Listen, the reason that Proven Demons itself is one of those paranormal channels that are effectively, I won't say we're shadow banned, but essentially, you know, we're, we're not mainstream. Yeah. You know, we, but we, we get really good, almost mainstream numbers, but compared to others who stay family friendly topics and all that, obviously we are the type that don't. Yeah. So I like to consider this a think tank. I like to consider us open minded and not afraid to speak our minds. So yeah, no, I will say this, whether I regret it later or not, but I'm if anyone does have uh, their own theories as to why all so of a sudden uh, our governments are releasing declassified alien and, well not alien, but UFO uh, well, this is footage. This second time and we all remember the first time when that happened, when we were all going through the same thing together. The you know, lockdown, life was yeah. really hard. Obviously, I don't want to say the key. Yeah, but it was weird because back know. then I thought that they released the footage then because we were so distracted by the other thing going on exactly. that it would just get wipe, uh, wiped away. But all of a sudden now they're talking about it again. Because people are starting to question things again. 
because mm. of the whole. I don't want to. I, oh, God, I'm really trying to well, sense myself. You know what? Maybe tonight. Maybe <laughs> maybe tonight, if if we successfully summon this angel or demon, whatever you want to classify it, this yeah. in between entity, maybe I'll ask the question. I what, think there's a lot of questions I want to know. What are UFOs? You no, know? I want to know a lot of things because, like I say, UFOs are not like, oh. disregarding them completely. Like so these are the questions we're about to ask. Uh-oh, this is a going to get interesting. It may actually be a real thing and aliens and stuff, but I've not seen it, so I can't believe in it. It's like, well, what about you? I didn't believe in the paranormal. I thought it was a load of crock, but then obviously I started doing it, and now I've seen it. You're you know, more so open-minded about oh, it. Oh, absolutely, yeah, yeah, because I've, I've actually seen it with my own eyes, and no one can tell me differently. But this sort of thing, I just find the timing a little bit... Mm. Questionable, shall I just say? <laughs> it is, you know what? It always happens in odd times. But anyway. Yeah. <sighs> Sorry for being controversial. Yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> this is why I don't say my opinions. No. I don't upset anyone. But it truly yeah, doesn't matter. Yeah. It yeah. truly doesn't matter anymore. Speak, anyway, let's speak, just get the location and do the shit. Okay. Saying, talk your truth. That's what, that's what it's all about. All right. Down with another person. Say, here. talk your it truth. Looks like this is you too. You know the mean? entry point. Don't get out of line with it, but just talk your truth. You know what I'm talking about? It's all right. Oh man. Oh, it's not so bad in winter. In summer, it's awful. Oh, yeah, this is easy. Still standing, yes. Cool. Let's uh, take a step inside and see what we're working with. Right. That hasn't collapsed. That's that good. Really long, yes, it does. I mean, why yeah. would you go there? Well, it's it's falls, only <laughs> falls only about a foot. Yeah, what kind of room is it, that, man? What is, what is this, oh, bro? Okay. The shed. Well, this looks all right. I'm going to see what the other room looks like real quick. The oh, other room. Love that. Wait, Something really pretty about the red paint underneath the blue paint coming through. That's blue. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, it's cold. Yeah, it look cold. <coughs> oh, cold. What the fuck? Tell me, bro. You like, hear that? Yeah, no, that wasn't me. No, I heard it, but damn, bro. <laughs> you best step though, me folk. <laughs> Maybe it was us walking and we moved something. No, it's not. It was. You scared the shit out of me, that. You scared the shit out of me. Creep. Yeah, we're gonna have to do the ritual in the other room. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Yeah. What's through that way? Um, out, outdoors. The wall's missing. Okay, I'll sit back. Yeah, look at the loft. No, that, that door fucking scared the shit out of me. It just started. Uh, 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 uh. Should have brought a broom. A broom? So, I'll use my foot and I'll start clearing yeah, this up. Right. Tell you what, there's no point in me filming me clearing the room. Okay. But, uh, Just clear it and then we can get some. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh my god. That's so creepy. Fitting for the atmosphere? Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. I'll put it this way I wouldn't want you walking through the bedroom like that at night, 3 a.m. No, absolutely not. <laughs> Thing is, it's a mandatory part of the ritual. I mm. can't not avoid it, so, but. I'm loving it. Give us a little twirl. Yeah, it is dope, dope. God, Should that's do? nice. Before oh, we yeah. actually yeah, get yeah, into the series. Yeah, see, I rock with the big boy hoods, man. I can't front. So the big boy hoods, oh. Okay. Definitely. Oh, give me your best pose. Work it, baby, work it. Arch yeah. that back. <laughs> I love it. It's, just, it's very appropriate. <laughs> Oh dear. Right, what else do we need to set up? Or is that everything? It's not everything. I'm going to just get into it now. This okay. boy crazy. It all has to be done in the road, though. That's the I mean, you... Oh, really? What the whole process? What? Yeah. Oh. what are we summoning in there, bro? I thought you just put it on because you got cold. Oh, yeah, I think... Yeah, he yeah, says... Actually, it's warmer than my winter jacket. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, it's really nice. It's quite nice. <laughs> what are they about? Right, so let's turn up some lights. Do you need this here. light, or... you can going to use that? Okay, that's fine. That'll be What are they? What are they? What are they? First step. Salt circle. Okay. 
I figured that, but you know what I'm saying? I'm just. Y'all in y'all y'all in another uh another another country so Um it's not bad. Maybe your shoe just needs a bit of a sharpening up. Yeah, just there. Okay. Okay, that's where I'm gonna be sitting. I'm gonna have to face north. So facing north. Um hang on. Let me just check. I'll something. I'll find it, don't worry. It's okay. I've got a um what you call it? Compass. Compass, that's one. Have a look. So north is directly at the window. Perfect. Well, slight, yeah, slightly canted, so almost aimed to like the corner of the windowsill. That's fine. Not face this way. Okay. All right. Got to burn some sage while we do this. As a matter of fact, just sit back here for now. Let's respark this thing, shall we? Do you need a lighter if you got one? You got some sage or something else on it. Yeah, I got this candle lit over here. Lit it. So, what's this all about then? So, are you burning it for your sake or does it's, it go in the circle? It's part of the requirement. You have to. Do have, you have to smudge yourself or? No, you just have to have some form of incense burning. Okay. The whole building is made of wood, so I'm trying desperately not to burn the whole building down. Oh, how do we put it out? Just burning some sage. I didn't man. bring any water. No, that's what the bowl's for. Are you just gonna stub it out? I'll just stub it out. Okay. There we go. Jeez, that smells. It smells nice. I've never smelled sage. sage. I don't think ever before. It ain't Pretty sure it ain't it ain't it ain't No, no, I don't want to be cleansed. No, 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 don't cleanse me. Don't cleanse me. No, 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 no. I'm cool. I, I don't feel the need to be cleansed. Or do I? Probably by this point, all of this by demon this point, stuff. Yeah, sure. the fact the fact that you just said that you don't want to be is saved safe? is the fact that you need to be saved. You remember, I've never, I've never done I this. I saved the hell out of that ass. So it just burn itself out or we just stub it out when we're ready? We'll stub it out when we're done with it. Okay. Chalk is there. The fact that you said that you don't want it. Gotta watch you, shout it. One second. God, I don't like that smell. <laughs> what, you like it? Yeah, I do. I love that smell. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, yeah, I love it. Right, let me pull up the rest. That's interesting. Well, sure I mean, what the, what the, what the, what the, what's up with this girl, man? Right. You got. You may have something on you. Esna air abadon avage. Esna air. Esna air abadon avage. Esna air abadon avage. Esna air abadon avage. Esna air abadon avage. Got to remember that. It's not air, Abaddon of Ajay. I've never summoned this one before, so. Okay. It will be quite interesting. So when you draw, do you need to like point it north? Man, here we go with this bullshit. We've been sitting here this whole time, y'all. Does it doesn't matter about the drawing, or does it just matter about where you're sat? Does it say anything about that? Uh, no, I have to sit in a circle afterwards. No, I know, but what I'm saying is, does it matter which way it's drawn? Does it say it has to be a certain peak of like north or something? It'll have to be facing north. Yeah, it's gotta be no. you goofy. Why are you being goofy? matter on the outside or no that's that's just to make the symbol look cool I guess okay all right as not air Abaddon Avasha 
Hang on. Before we continue... Did you hear that? The crackling. No? Yeah, that's the say, shall we? Okay. Right. Before we continue from this point, okay? Mm-hmm. Because this is going to be a long process. I want to have a quick cigarette break. Yep. Maybe get an Instagram picture. Okay. And then we'll continue from here. So, give it here and we'll cut it. Right, before I get this, Esna Air Abaddon Abahe. Okay, 13 times I have to say that. Esna Air Abaddon Abahe. That's not air, 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 Abaddon Abahe. Made the circle bigger. What the fuck are we listening to, man? What is that? See, that's why I'm burning this sage, because I don't know what the hell that is. Everything went well. That is summoning ritual for said angel. What should happen now? Spirit. We attempt to communicate. We're going to do the spirit box and everything, yeah? We're going to try and talk to him and ask the questions that need to be asked. Okay. Or, before I start... I got to get, I got to get a puppy in this, you know what I'm talking about? Smoke. What do you think? <laughs> My face behind this camera is not a happy camper. <laughs> Just do it, it's fine. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 okay. That's a, that's what you call it. That's what, that thing you're supposed to wake up the spirit or something like that. Stand in the circle, stand in it. I'm not, I, I'm not here to fight you. Abaddon, come forward. I have some questions. I have some questions to ask you. Is there life after death? Say life for me if there is life after death. Door. Door. What about a door? So far. Abaddon! Are you opposed to extraterrestrials? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Put it down, put it down. He was talking, he was talking. Did you hear the Big Bang? No, I didn't. Did you stay in the same place? I, I stay still. Yeah, I'm stood right here. You didn't hear the Big Bang? I felt it on my feet. 
No, but that window is now giving me creeps. Just saying. It wasn't a minute. I had ago. a massive. Right before you said that, it was talking about something, but now I can't remember what it was. I want to know. Random question. Are UFOs actually angels or demons? Angel. That's angel. You just say angel. Uh, Abaddon. Are you actually Satan? We're getting no responses here, y'all. Maybe we need to try a different method. Let's try a different method. Not exactly the clearest responses at the moment. No. I heard door. I did, and I heard something else. That's okay, we have more tools. Holy shit. The oh EM, wow! The EMF in the in the building is through the roof. By the way, this is clear. There's clear. Whoa! Whoa! That was a massive burst. There's clearly no electricity here. He's doing it again. It's spiking completely. Okay, right. so that's interesting. The room is filled completely with EMF, which is what we believe spirit and entities to be made up is maxed out. God! It is completely maxed out. It's not even. Oh! What? That is insane. Do you see how steady that is? Stand in the circle and see if it makes Just show, I move this away, just in case. Look how steady that is. I've never seen that before. That is incredible. The whole... The whole thing is lighting up. The whole up. building is... Stand right in the middle, just see if it makes a difference. Just That's curious. Crazy, the whole yeah. building is completely steeped in EMF. It, hey. That's incredible. Either you summoned a God, whole bunch of something or that. something... Being. Not straight away anyway. Obviously it comes I mean, maybe later down the line. But. Maybe angels aren't meant to speak through spirit box. It's just gone. Oh, yo, that's crazy. Abaddon, are you here with us right now? I heard that. Footsteps. I heard footsteps. Something's walking around. Doesn't sound English to me though. That wasn't English. God. Whatever that, that was. That was a really intense voice. I'll play it one more play time. Play it once more. Yeah. That's the camera. some kind of language coming through. There's something talking, I just don't know what it's saying. My goodness. Have you got a reverse app? Is it what? what? It's, what? it's what? just what? blowing what? up, it's just blowing up. Take that, I'll, hold that. What the that fuck is, is meant, and it just goes. Hang on. Give me your torch a second. I heard footsteps coming from out here. Huge yeah. Who's in here with us? Would y'all do that, man? Oh my 
gone. Okay, so one thing we can confirm is the ritual did spike EMF in here. Oh. Yeah, massive spikes this of EMF. Massively comes in, it goes. And we got some EVP. We might have got spirit box. I'll have to go back through and see. I just want answers. I just want answers to the afterlife. Is it that fucking hard? I go through all of this shit. You just use to get a different answer. language. This is the problem. Like we're not going to be able to de that again, decode any of this. Is that, what, is that what you want to know? Unless you can somehow Google and decipher it. I, I, I'm Angels not going to know it. You're not going to know it. Speak ancient Latin or something along those lines. That's amazing how it came in so heavy. Is that what you want to know? And now it's just literally. I mean, is, is there stopped. an afterlife for you? Is that the question? I'm lost. I'm lost. I'm going to just keep that here. Abaddon. I'm using what we call the Holy Grail. Can you come forward and talk with us? Can you give me any secrets about the afterlife? Shepherd. Shepherd. Jesus, shepherd. Was, Jesus was the shepherd. Jesus was the shepherd. You know that, right? Put your camera at the thing for a second. Is Jesus Christ real? I know it's so quiet, it's so old, this device of mine. He was forgotten. Would you agree that Jesus is dead? Or God is dead? And we're going to keep the microphone today. Okay. Keep it I'll do that then. Hold it there. Is the mic up here? Yes. Yes. Darling, is the microphone up here? Okay. Yeah, I'll just keep it there. I asked if there's an afterlife and all, and you said the shepherd, Jesus. You said he's forgotten. Do you believe that the people have forgotten Jesus? Would you agree that the shepherd is the light? Can you say light? Yeah, still running. Can you say light? It doesn't seem to have anything to do No. <laughs> it's so weird, it's like as fast as it comes, it goes. Going? Is it going? Don't go yet, please. I just want answers. Is Jesus the light? Can you say light, please? I swear to God, if he's just left. Have you left? Are you gone? I mean, the EMF isn't really going anymore. That's incredible. As soon as I said it keeps coming and going, it's a going. Yeah, true, true. That's amazing. I don't know. I don't know what to make of it, to be honest with you. Do you think that's strange how it like self-identifies that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if he's just comes and goes like that. I I, I don't know. He's, why don't we? He's probably a very busy fucking angel, to be honest with you. Why don't we run another EVP? Because that was incredible. Oh, it's lighting up again. It's back. 
Yeah, look, it just it, it knows to come and go. Right, here's your torch. Use that. Okay, thank you. I'm gonna try another EVP and see if I can understand you. Because the energy here definitely hasn't gone. I shall put the flashlight down. I want to see the uh, the lights. Are you leaving us now already? I feel like I haven't gotten an answer. Is there any answer you can give me as to what happens when you die? Is it true that you are the one who punishes those without the mark of God on their head? It's like it can answer with that, but it can't answer with technical ghost hunting devices. Okay, okay. Are you able to answer with any of my other devices, such as spirit box or digital recorder here? I will say it's phenomenal, the amount of EMF in the room. Yeah, that's the most I've seen. Sorry. That's the most I've seen. That's amazing. There is no answer. <gasps> Shit, Andrew. That was me. I'm sorry, I stepped into the REM pod. Fuck. I don't have to an answer. There is no answer. There has to be. Oh, so delicate, a little whisper. Hold on. Something, something me. It sounds like touching from here. It's, it's hurting it me, it sounds like. Yeah, hurting or it's, touching. It's like, yeah. yeah, it's hurting me. Okay. What is though? Why is it telling me there is no answer? There has to be an answer. I got, I've been given slight answers from other entities, but the fact that this one hasn't given me what I'm asking for, is this the wrong one to like call upon? I don't know. Well, no, hang on, do you know what's really weird? What? It's the fact that the first time we did it, we claimed that the language sounded Latin. And now it's English. Now it's English. So it could that be, doesn't it could sound be like it. related to the house. I don't know. So okay, nice. guys. Uh, well, I was putting stuff away. Um, we can hear like footsteps going on. So sorry for the. Shit. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Can you hear it? It's like it's coming from the hallway here. Show yourself. K2's going off. K2. K2's going mental over it's there. Going mad. It's going mad. Oh my god, I'm going literally mad. Okay, okay, okay. If there's somebody there, can you bang a bit louder? Okay, uh. Right, that's just fucking going mental. Is there somebody here with us right now? That's me, that's me. Oh. 
Holy shit, did you hear that? Oh my god, that voice. No. Shh. No. No, what voice? No. I just heard a fucking guy. No, I didn't hear that. Where? Okay, I'm not stupidly Wait. comfortable with this. Where was that? I don't know, it's just outside. everywhere. What do you mean everywhere? It's outside or inside? No, I heard it in here. In here. Yeah. No, no, shut. Shh. That was behind us. Okay. All right, let's go. Let's um, just make a move. Okay. Okay, we're leaving. Thank you for letting us use your house for our nefarious purposes, or whatever you want to call it. Oh God, this is creepy. Holy shit, man. That's, this way. that's ridiculous. Yeah, let's just go. Let's just go. Let's just go. All right, guys. So I'm still relatively new to angel summonings, um, if you couldn't tell. Uh, but if you enjoyed that, but you'd like to see a proper demon summoning that really, really, really worked, go to my last video, this link right here. Don't even think about it. Click it, and you'll be amazed at what we captured. Okay. That concludes the video. Uh, you know what I'm talking about? We uh we may we may just check that one out, you know what I'm saying? Because we didn't get nothing there. I mean we got some stuff to, I mean obviously, you know what I'm saying, we saw it together, so I don't uh, This one's inconclusive, y'all. I'm just gonna say that. It's inconclusive. I don't know. Maybe I don't know. There's gotta be some this I don't know what this is about. And it's probably why he's so desperate to find out. I don't know. Maybe he's done something that he re he's kind of regretting, and he needs some answers. Just speculating here. You know what I'm saying nothing too, uh, nothing too crazy. You know, I'm just saying. It's a reason for everything, y'all. But I hope you enjoyed the video for the most part. You know what I'm saying. I, I enjoy kicking it with y'all. You know what I'm saying. Uh, we gonna get back to it. Uh. Like I said, we might end up doing this one. Uh, but for the most part, man, y'all uh, be safe out there. Be careful. Have fun. Enjoy. You know what I mean? Uh, keep your head on the swivel. Remember to protect yourself spiritually, mentally, and physically. You know what I'm saying? Don't let this world drive you crazy. Uh, man, y'all be careful out there. Be careful out there. Because we don't know if it's people or... If it's the if it's the actual specter that's sometimes making them noise, then y'all see they got ran up on several times by people. So it's just it's dangerous. It's dangerous. So I'm not saying don't do it. I'm just saying be careful if you're gonna do it because people people are gonna do what they want to do. Y'all gonna do what you want to do anyway. I don't condone to a lot of things, but that's my disclaimer. Whenever y'all watching my footage. Whenever you're watching my videos, I do not condone that you be out here doing this stuff without doing the proper research. Uh, hey, that's all I can give you. You know what I'm talking about? So be careful. I'll see y'all next time.